Hello guys, Soundfly here. Following the recent Steam release of Terror Europe and the new class coming down the line, I think it's high time I made a launch and troubleshooting video. I've been helping random players in recent months overcome installation and patching issues and I believe the present video covers the most commonly occurring problems. If for some reason you find this too complicated, although believe me, it's not as bad as it sounds, and you'd like one-on-one -on -one assistance via TeamViewer, drop me a message here. If you'd rather get support by Gameforge, then by all means write to them instead. I'm just a regular player. Let's start off with the two most common error messages. Source file corrupt. This means there's a corrupted or missing file. Not a big deal, but it's a common occurrence. The least you can do is open your launcher, go to settings, basic settings, check file and console to see what's happening in real time. This way the launcher will create a log file in the main terra folder which basically replaces the need to start the launch in debug mode in order to get a log file. Then identify the corrupted file. It should have a line similar to this. Use the search function for faster navigation. It could be any file and often there's more than one so just be patient. Download the file from the full terra copy I've uploaded for this video. Check the description for the link. After that, replace the corrupted or missing file and restart the launcher. See the launcher deletes files too early issue if it applies to you. As a last resort, use the repair feature, sit back and relax. Next on the list, an error has occurred. Please try again later. This is by far the most annoying issue. Here's a checklist of the most common reasons for it and you should eliminate them one by one until you find the real cause. Antivirus software. Better disable it while downloading and patching and later just add exceptions for the whole Terra folder and the main executable files. Windows Firewall and Windows Defender. Add exceptions for Terra Launcher, TL and Terra EXE but better disable them including similar third-party software. For example, Chromodo Firewall, etc., which is best uninstalled for the time being. Open the services list, find the two services mentioned above, and disable them. Hosts file. Better wipe it clean, meaning remove all IPs and addresses you don't recognize. Add blocker. Don't just disable it, but uninstall it, and if Terra starts, then you'll know this was causing the issue. If you must reinstall it, make sure the host file is clean. Manually install signed root certificates. See the description for the link or use another source. I'm not convinced this is helpful to be frank. However, someone reported this solved their issue, so I guess it's worth checking out. I personally haven't reinstalled nor updated my Windows in over 2 years now, yet experiencing no issues whatsoever. Last but definitely not least, check how you're connected to the internet via IPv4 or IPv6. Although IPv6 is superior, you won't be able to play Terra unless you're using Internet Protocol version 4. Now, I won't pretend I'm an IT specialist and know anything about it, but that's how it works. Go to this address to test your connection or simply open your network and sharing center, then local area connection and look at the way you're connected to the Internet. If it looks different to this, then chances are you're using the wrong type. How to confirm this? Use another internet connection, mobile, cable or Wi-Fi, doesn't matter as long as it's not the one you're currently using. If you can, go to a friend's place and try with their connection. If you're sure this is the cause, phone up your provider and ask them to switch you to IPv4 or change or disable any firewall or port forwarding, etc. Other less significant issues. News not loading. Solution, switch languages by pressing the flag for another language. Web get request failed. Solution, just wait, it could take up to 5 minutes but the launcher will continue on its own. Launcher won't start or is taking 2 minutes to show up. Solution, use the going offline method. Disable your network adapter or unplug your Ethernet cable. Start the launcher then reconnect to the internet. This behavior often indicates connection issues on your end though. Can't log in into any game server. Solution. Make sure you've added all three exceptions in Windows Firewall and Windows Defender or better disable them both to make sure they are not causing the issue. Of course, there could be a server outage but it's quite rare. Getting kicked due to a server error, however, is another thing. It can happen to anyone at any time. Size issues. Solution. Increase your screen resolution. 
If that's not applicable, then hide your taskbar or set it to all to hide. And if this isn't enough, then you can use the following piece of software to resize your launcher. It's called Autosizer. Download it from here, then install it and launch it. Start the Terra launcher and do this. It won't shrink it, but the result, however, will be what you actually need. User authentication failed. This means you've been banned. It could be just 24 hour security lock. Solution Log in here first, then try logging to the launcher again. If this doesn't solve it, then don't attempt to log into the launcher, but contact support instead. You can do this here, or use the French or German version if you prefer. You will need to create a separate registration if you've never used this service before. Wait for 24 hours or until support have replied to you, whichever comes first. Meanwhile, no VPNs, proxies, ping reducing software, etc. Current version unknown and unable to determine current version. Solution. If restarting your launch multiple times doesn't help, I know it sounds retarded, as it probably is, but just try it. Delete your version file and restart the launcher. Alternatively, use my launcher files and repair your game right away. Launcher deletes files too early. Solution: Copy the installation or patch files as soon as download is complete. If you need to go FK or something, do not turn off your computer, click pause and put it to sleep instead, then resume your download. And a few somewhat older error messages, you're likely to not encounter them. I hope you found this video helpful, it certainly took a lot of time to put together. Please like and share if you think it might help someone else. 
and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Until next time, sound around.